Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? Am I great? You're right. Very yeah. good. You're great. Excellent. Yes. And you're Miss. What about you? Good. I can't complain. I'm alive. Okay. I hear you're good. Yes, I'm good. Thank you so much for asking, Jensi. Very good. Uh, <laughs> all right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. We are in section two. All right. Today we're going to finish section two, and therefore we are going to start section three. Where are you from? All right. Class number six. So let's get started. Yesterday, you might remember that we saw the demonstratives, all right? Demonstratives, uh, des and this. So let's check what do we have for today's class. Do you remember? Let's see. Number one, create one sentence using this, all right? So let's check. Uh, let me have. Well, this is the example. This is my cell phone. Let me ask David Rosales. Tell me one sentence with this. Hello? Vaya, David, tiene el micrófono abierto, pero no se le escucha nada. Not sure why. No estoy segura de por qué. But let's check Karen Osorio. Can you give me your example with this? <coughs> Karen a la one. Karen a la two. Hola, hola. Ah, there you are. Ahí está, excelente. Dígame su ejemplo, por favor. Mi ejemplo. Yes. Uh, this is no this is uh, your your um, flower this is your flower sí, yes okay this is your flower thank you Let's go with the next one, number two. Create one sentence using these. Jensi, can you help me with this, please? Okay, this is my cell phone. Ah? This is my cell phone. Recuerde que these es para plural, these. These are. No, that's my cell phone. Pero me está diciendo singular, Jensi. That's the thing. Oh, this, this is my sunglasses. These are my sunglasses. No se le olvide el verb to be, porque por eso es que no se le entiende, right? Porque no me está poniendo el verb to be. These are my sunglasses. Very good, thank you. Now, with this, what I want you to do, everyone, con esto, lo que quiero que hagan es que recuerden lo que hemos visto en la clase anterior, right? El contenido no es solo para un día y pasar la plataforma and that's it, no. The purpose is for you to learn and for you to know. El propósito es que usted pueda aprender, saber, Y así completar lo que tiene que hacer. Now, let's go with the next one. Today we start with the WH questions with B. Okay? We have the structure, which is WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus complement <coughs> plus question mark. As simple as that. So let's check. Okay. There you go. So let me listen to Luis Rivas. Can you please read the guiding structure? I know that you have your microphone open, but I can't hear you. Sé que tiene el micrófono abierto, Luis, pero no se le entiende, no se le escucha nada. 
Okay, Manuel Hernández, please, can you read the structure? Okay, WH word plus verb to be plus the, the subject plus complement question mark. Very good, excellent. Now, everyone, please take notes on your notebook. Por favor, todos tomen nota de esta estructura en su cuaderno. Let me know whenever you finished. <clears throat> Okay, so have you finished taking notes? Finished. Yes. yes, perfect, thank you. Now let's go with the WH words. Uh, maybe you know them. Quizás ustedes ya conocen cuáles son las WH words, quizás no, pero como parte del programa tenemos que ver aquí qué son, cuáles son, perdón. All right, so we have who, which means, que significa, asking about a person. Right? We have what, asking about a thing or idea, when, asking about time, where, asking about a place, why, asking about a reason, how, asking about a way of doing something. Now, you might have noticed, I those WH words que las personas suelen pronunciar mal, pero porque no quieren abrir la boca, right? No porque cuesten. The first one is who. Muchas veces me dicen who. who. Y eso es porque no queremos abrir la boca. No es porque se nos olvide, no es porque no prestemos atención. We just don't open the mouth. Solo no abrimos la boca bien. Who. Who. Y la última que es how. How. No es who, es how, how, all right? So let's check. Without being said, habiendo dicho esto, let's go with Lisette Rodriguez, please. Tell me the first three. The WH word and the information, please. Uh, how, asking about a person. Repeat. How. Asking about a person. Who? <laughs> Who? Asking mm -hmm. about a person. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh -huh. What's asking about a thing or idea? When asking about a uh, time. Okay, repeat after me, asking. Asking. Yes, relaja un poco más la boca, right? Porque bien se siente que está tensa, so relax a bit. Relájese un poquito. <laughs> asking. Asking. Idea. Idea. Yes, perfectly said, thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go with uh, Carlos Salvador, please. Uh, where, why, and how? <laughs> Where? Asking about a place. Why? Asking about a reason. How? Asking about a way of doing, of doing something. Yes, very good, thank you. Let me listen to Evelyn Flores, please. Who, what, and when? Who? Asking about a person. What? Asking about a thing or idea. When? Asking about time. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Angel, where, why, and how? Where, asking about a place. Why, asking about a reason. How, 
asking about a way of doing something. That's correct. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go with Beatriz, Adriana. Who, what, and when? Uh, who, asking I a person. Uh, what, asking a woman. And he, or idea. Idea. I, idea. Idea. When asking about time. Repeat, about. About. Time. Me. Time. Excellent. Thank you, Beatrice. Very good. Now, let's go with uh, Kevin Daniel. Where, why, and how? <clears throat> Where equals asking about a place. Why equals asking about a reason. How equals asking about a way of doing something. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Let's go with Kevin Ernesto. Who, what, and when? Who asking about a person. What? Asking about a church uh, or either. When asking about time. Thank you. Vale, voy a preguntar. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la I en inglés? ¿Quién me lo dice? I, I. Exactly. All right. Very good. Ay, los felicito. Excelente. Entonces, ¿por qué me están diciendo eh, idea? Idea, idea. It's idea. 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 Right? So we need to be careful. Once again, no es porque no se les está dando la pronunciation aquí, no es porque no lo escuché en la platform. It's just that you're not paying attention. Es solo que no me están prestando atención en la pronunciation. Right? So far, I have said it like 15 times. Ahorita quizá ya llevo de 10 a 15 veces que voy diciendo idea. All right? So just remember, solo recordemos cómo se menciona la letra, en, la I, perdón, in English, I, idea, right? So with that being said, let's move on to the guiding examples. Nos movemos a los ejemplos guía. We have questions, tenemos preguntas. La voy a leer yo primero para darles la pronunciation and then you go alone. Who is your sister? What is the girl's name? <clears throat> When is the party? Where are the keys? Why are the books on the floor? How are your parents today? Let me have Jency number one and two, please. Who is your sister? Uh huh. One and two. Okay. What is the girl's name? That's correct. Thank you, sir. Let me go with uh, Mario Molina, three and four. Okay, we don't have Mario. Let's go with Luis Rivas, please. Three and four. Where is the body? Where are the keys? Uh -huh, exactly, okay. what are the keys? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with the next one. Um, let me check, let me check. Jackie, five and six. Why are the books on the floor? How are you parties today? Very good, thank you. Those are the guiding examples. What are you going to do next? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? I'm going to give you time. Voy a darles tiempo. And you are going to create um, two questions. All right? Two questions with WH structure. La estructura de la WH más el verbo to be. All right? Tienen las WH words aquí. Y tienen aquí los examples. Se los voy a dejar la slide en los examples. So let's work on it. Please, trabajemos en eso.
Have you finished? Are we done? I'm done, miss. Great, David, thank you. Someone else? Alguien más ya finalizó? Only David. <gasps> done. Great, Salvador, thank you. Communication, communication. Me too. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Let me check who was that one. It doesn't appear. Okay, let's get started. Let's just start with David Rosales, please. Can you give me your examples? Where do you where do you live now? Mm -hmm. Who is he? Who is he? Very good. Excellent. Simple as that. Thank you. Let's go with Salvador and then the other one. I think it was Evelyn. Where is your book? And what is this place? What is this place? Uh -huh. No sé si le escuché bien. Can you repeat? Yes, what is this place? Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Those are good. Excellent. Let's listen to Evelyn, please. Okay. When is the festivities in your town? Uh -huh. Where are my glasses? All right. Where is the festivities or where are the festivities? When are the festivities? Yeah, where are? I'm sorry. Don't worry. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Muy creativa sus preguntas. What about um, Miguel Angel? When is the exam? When is the exam? Mm -hmm. Who is your teacher? Very good, excellent, thank you. Uh, let's go with Mr. Rivera, Kevin Daniel Rivera. Uh, when is your birthday? Where are my computer? Where? Are my computer? Okay. Or computer. Where okay. is my computer? Perfect, because you are only talking about one, porque solo estamos hablando de una, right? <coughs> Thank you. Now, let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente, con el siguiente o oh, la siguiente. Uh, what about Lisset Rodriguez? After Lisset, Freddy. Uh, your microphone, Lisset. How is your boyfriend? How is your boyfriend? <laughs> how is your grandparents? How is how are your grandparents? Is that plural? Grandparents? Sí. Entonces yes. tenemos que yes. decir are. Uh, how are how are you grandparents? How are your grandparents? How are your grandparents? No, no me puede decir Julie, me tiene que decir your, porque es posesivo. No. How are your grandparents? Perfect, excellent, thank you. <laughs> now, the next one, Freddy, please. Hello, hello, Freddy. Are you there? This is the first time that I see you in town. Okay, maybe he's not. Let's go with Karen Osorio, please. Um, when is when is the meeting? Uh, how is your car? How is you, your car? Perfect, thank you. Uh, when is the meeting and how is your car? Very good, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Luis Rivas and after Luis, uh, Jen C. Valle. Where are the buses? How are you? How, how are your friends? All right, when how are you? When, when is the city? Repeat, sorry. When is the city? When is the city? See? 
All right. ¿Cuándo es la ciudad? ¿O dónde es la ciudad? Where? Where? Oh, ah, yeah, okay. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Luis. Very okay. good report. Uh, let me check the next one. Jensi, please. Okay. Who is your uncle? Uh -huh. What is the <coughs> boy's name? Ah, oh, what is the boy's name? Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Kevin Ernesto and after Kevin Beatriz Adrián. German <coughs> Green. Eh, what? Permítame, what? Beatriz. Primero iba Kevin Ernesto y luego va usted, ¿ok? Perfect. Thank you. No worries. Uh, what, is, what is your mother? Where is what? your mother? Uh -huh. What's your, what your dog's name? Very good, excellent. Thank you, third person. What's your dog's name? Very good, Kevin. Action, Beatrice. I don't sleep in class. No te han los objetos. Los objetos son, aquí está, mira, aquí está este book, book. I'm assuming that maybe you don't have them. Asumo que quizás no las tiene Beatriz porque no veo que se le apagó el micrófono. <laughs> uh, what is boy name? Night, night, night. No, pero perdón. Mami, what is Mami. boy name? Name, name. Algo así creo que estoy. No sé si me equivoco. Well, no, no, you have no mistaken. No se ha equivocado. Solo que me parece raro que ya dos personas dijeron la misma. No sé si. If you took it from the internet. Ok, but continue. Deme la otra. ¿La otra? Eran dos. Sí. Eh, no, estaba leyendo aquí. Porque eso es lo que estaba haciendo. Ok, don't worry. You know what? Don't worry. It's ok. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, let me have Mario Molina, please. Any, any question? Mm -hmm. I mean, your questions with WH words plus the verb to be. Okay. Who who is your your grandpa, grand grandfather? Uh, who is, who your, is grand your grandfather? Uh -huh. What is the cat name? What's the cat's name? The cat name. Cats, agréguenle la S porque no es que sea plural, sino que es la S de posesivo. Cats name. Oh, ok, ok. What is the cat's name? Very good, excellent. That's the intonation I'm looking for. <laughs> ok, so far I think everyone passed. Hasta ahorita creo que todos pasaron. Uh, everyone, let's keep pushing ourselves. Presionémonos un poquito más, all right? It's not that difficult. I know maybe you have many things to do during the day. Yo sé que seguro tiene muchas cosas que hacer durante el día. Yo igual, estoy de 6, a, de 6 de la mañana a 10 de la noche. Bueno, a 11 porque estoy subiendo los, video, los videos. Así que I think you can push yourself. And I have a family, so you cannot complain about it. So let's move, let's work with this. Prepositions, in, in front of, behind, on, next to, under, okay? I'm going to share with you the, the, the video from the platform and we're going to work with it. Let's pay attention to the video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. 
The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? You can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint. So we have the preposition in, in front of, behind. Let me take out my magic wand. Let me see. Behind, on, next to, under. Now, let me listen to Manuel Hernandez. Please tell me the prepositions of place. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Thank you. Let's go with Carlos Salvador. And after Carlos, Karin Osorio. Okay. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Thank you. Karen, please. In, in front of, behind, 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 on, next to, under. Bravo, thank you. Let's go with, uh, let me check who else do we have. Luis Rivas, please. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Thank you. Jackie, please. In, I front of, in front of, in front of, behind, 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 on, next to, under. Excellent. Thank you. Mario Molina, please. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Let's check the following. We have the practice, all right? It says complete these sentences, all right? We're going to stop, uh, we're going to stop it in there. Vamos a seguir solo esa instrucción. Complete these sentences, okay? The books are in the bag, okay? Fijémonos las posiciones de los objects, porque para ello vamos a aplicar las prepositions of place, all right? Preposiciones del lugar. So, uh, remember, if you have two objects near each other, you have to use next to, all right? And so on. Uh, check, and, no, check and view the images, please, so that you will know how to answer. Chequemos y veamos, veamos fijamente las imágenes para que sepamos qué preposición vamos a utilizar. Let's work on it. You gotta work this on your notebook. If you already finished the platform in section two, you might rest. Los que ya finalizaron la plataforma en la sección dos, Eh, pueden descansar en este momento mientras sus compañeros trabajan este exercise, right? 
as well you're going to participate anyways. De todas maneras, siempre van a participar, but you may rest for now. No den copia mientras tanto. I was thinking about it, Kevin. Thank you. Justo eso pensaba, Kevin. Gracias. Le quiero hacer una pregunta a teacher, ¿se puede? Sure, of course. Eh, en esta plataforma, ¿cómo se llama? Cuando uno responde y le da a enviar, mm -hmm. ya no tiene retroceso, ¿verdad? O sea, ya no se pueden corregir los errores. Porque yo quise corregir y no se podía. Yeah, so maybe, no. Sí, lo más seguro es que no se pueda, Mario. Ah, ok. Ya no le dejo... A... Darle hacia atrás. Sí, o sea, me deja ir hacia atrás, pero ya no me deja corregir. Mm, ah, pues sí, ya no se puede. Ok, y, y la otra pregunta era de que, digamos que hoy termina usted la clase como las, a la hora que terminamos. Uh -huh. Entonces no sé qué, qué parte continuar en la plataforma, porque si nos adelantamos, nos atrasamos. No, usted, no, sé. no Mario, <ríe> Jesus, porque no me había preguntado antes, usted tiene que avanzar, ¿all right? Aquí ah, nosotros okay. vamos con la calendarización, ¿verdad? Las clases, porque no todos comprendemos el contenido al mismo tiempo. Pero usted no okay. se va a atrasar por eso. Usted tiene que ir adelante si es posible del docente, ¿right? En okay, cuanto a la okay. plataforma. Gracias, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias, gracias. You're welcome.
Okay, have you finished? No, yes, almost teacher. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay, let me listen to Manuel Hernandez. Tell me, what do you have for number two? Read the complete sentence. The DVD player is next to the TV. All right, thank you. Check. That's correct, That's next correct. to the TV. Let's go with Jackie, please, number three. Um, the map is our under daddy. Repeat, please. The map is our under daddy. ¿Y por qué me puso los dos verbs to be is our? Ah, no. ¿Cómo me puede poner, Maya? Espérenme. Sería the map. No, 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 ya me han chivado. Ahí tiene el verb to be que va a utilizar, no necesita agregar otro. Ah, uh, the map is under Yari. Right, let's check. Newspaper, the map is under the newspaper, right? Newspaper. Yes, eh, yo sé que quizás usted me puso diary porque, diary, perdón. Diary, porque diario sí se dice diary en inglés y está correcto. Solo que a ese diario al que usted me está diciendo con, con esa palabra diary, se refiere a los diarios eh, personales. Ajá, uh -huh. we can call it like that. Yes. Um, Very good, thank you. Ya, yeah. um, cuando hablamos de periódicos, esa es la palabra correcta en español, periódicos son newspapers. Newspaper, gracias. You're welcome, honey. Very good. Number four. Um, let me listen to Mr. Daniel Rivera, please. Your microphone, sir. The chair is behind to the desk. Uh -huh. Creo que así se dice en escritorio en inglés. Desk. Yes, desk. That's okay. correct. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's correct. Behind the desk. Thank you. Now, let's check William Castro, please. Number five. The wallet is on the purse. Okay, thank you. That's correct. The wallet is on the purse. Miguel Angel, number six. <clears throat> Miguel, your microphone. The cell phone is. Um, your address. Hmm. The ¿Y cell phone is. La preposición. ¿Qué preposición utilizó? Preposición. On. Uh. Don't worry, si, si no, no se siente seguro, no se preocupe, right? Si le pido que repita es porque tiene un músico que no escucho yo bien. That's the reason why, por eso, pero don't worry, Miguel. If you don't, you don't feel like saying the answer, it's okay. Um, <laughs> what about Evelyn Flores? Can you tell me number six, please? Okay, the cell phone is in front of um, Ampo. Right, let me check. In front of the addresses book. Now, voy a, voy a hacer algo bien claro. Gracias, Evelyn. Es correcto. Okay. Eh, aquí le pusimos addresses book, addresses book, ajá, porque así tiene la etiqueta. Pero en realidad es address book. All right, address book. So there you go. En la, en la plataforma no les va a agarrar la palabra addresses. Les va a agarrar la palabra address, right? Address book. Okay, let's check. Instructions. Let me listen to Luis Rivas, please. Instructions. One, two, and three. Instructions. 
one or individually, you need to use preposition. Number two, Luis. Oh, create, create one centered using any object that you want. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Y lo felicito porque esta palabra la dijo super bien, individually. <laughs> Very Thank good. You. You're welcome. Sí. Eh, es la que más eh, me suele costar, all right? Con las personas cuando están aprendiendo, me dice individuality o individual, y es individually, right? Very good. Now, let's check eh, one sentence, una oración, utilizando any object that you want. Use the preposition. O sea, usted me puede decir, uh, the bottle of water is in front of my computer. The, water, the bottle of water is next to my window, right? Una oración, one minute, un minuto, menos del minuto para crearla, okay? I'm gonna be right back. Ya voy a, eh, voy a apagar un momentito mi cámara solo porque quiero conectar el cargador, el charter, all right? Then I'm going to turn it on. Luego lo voy a encender. Okay, finished? Terminamos? No, verdad, no le he dado ni el minuto. Okay, don't worry. Finish. Perfect, Kevin, thank you. Now, meanwhile, the rest is finishing, mientras los demás Finalizan, voy a tomarles la lista de asistencia, ¿ok? Yay, here we go. Hoy es martes 22. No, martes 25. All right. Uh, Beatriz Adriana Mejía Martínez. Present. Carlos Salvador Velázquez. Present. Freddy Sebastián Franco. Present. Ajá, Freddy, porque antes no había el, el micrófono. When I asked your participation. He estado trabajando ahorita hoy para ahorita hoy para la casa. Okay. Sí. Let's go with Evelyn Mercedes. I'm here. Very good, thank you. All right. Um, Jacqueline Beatriz Melendez Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jose David Rosales Velázquez. Present. Mario Molina Delgado. I'm here. Karen Lisette Osorio. Present. Kevin Alexander Batres Deras. Okay, zero. Kevin Antonio Chicas Guevara. Zero. Kevin Daniel Rivera Calderón. Present. Kevin Ernesto García. Present. Luis Alfonso Rivas. Present. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Present. Manuel de Jesús Campos Beltrán. Zero. Marlene Elisette Rodríguez Aguilar. Present. Miguel Alejandro, no, Miguel Ángel Galán. Present. William Alexander Castro. Present. Eh, Jensi Valle. Muy present. 
Very good, excellent. Let me check. We have 17. You are 19. Could you're 17 with me? Manuel de Jesus. Okay, let's go with, let me just check something. Now, uh, let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. So let me listen to uh, Daniel Rivera, please, because you were the first one. Usted fue el primero en terminar. Tell me. Uh, the computer is on my backpack. Call you get it, it out of there. Very good. Can you get it out of there? Thank you, sir. That was great. What about Jen C. Valle? My car is in the garage. All right. My car is in the garage. Very good. It was that. Miguel Angel, please. Uh, the table in my house is broken. All right. Very good. Excellent. William Castro. Where is the dog? The dog is on the bed. Very good, that was funny. Thank you, William. All right, eh, ya escuchamos tres oraciones con in y una con on, right? Uh, ya los que pasen, vayan borrando si tenían in, all right? Please, try to think another one. Tratemos de pensar en otra. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente, eh, Evelyn Flores. Your microphone, Emily. Okay. Um, the church is in front of her house. Very good, excellent. Kevin Ernesto Garcia. The cell phone is on the book. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Manuel Hernandez. The cell phone is connected next to my laptop. It's it's connected. Connected. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Very good. Karen Osorio, please. The pencil is next to the notebook. All right. Very Excellent. Ya ven, saben utilizar otras. Perfect. Um, Beatriz Adriana, please. Okay, is she out? Se desconectó. Okay, Luis Rivas, please tell me your sentence. My phone connects on the TV. All right. Okay. Yes, it works. Uh, Jacqueline, please. Mm, the bed is next to television. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lizette Rodriguez, please. The computer is next to the TV. All right. Porque nadie me está utilizando behind. Do we know how to use it? Comprendemos cómo utilizar behind. Thank you, Lizette. Si no, no quedó claro, let me know. All right. Avísenme porque yo puedo brindarle más ejemplos de behind. Let's go with Mario Molina. <coughs> Uh, my child behind me. Is behind me. Is behind me. Very good, excellent. David Rosales, please. The park is behind the university. All right, very good. Carlos Salvador. 
My sunglass is behind the book. My sunglasses. My sunglasses are behind the book. Sorry. Very good, excellent, thank you. All right, my dear students. Let's go to a conversation. Are you from Seoul? <clears throat> okay, we have Tim and Jessica. It says, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. We were from Korea originally. Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the young. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Right? <clears throat> Let me see. I need a volunteer to practice with me. Necesito un voluntario que practique conmigo. Anyone? Yeah. Okay. Very good, Mr. Daniel, Daniel Rivera. You are team. I'm Jessica. Um, lo todo me dijo que iba a ser yo. Oh, no. To practice with me. Ah, okay. Que le <laughs> Yes. I, I am Tim. Yes, you are Tim. I'm Jessica. Uh, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. So, are you from Seoul? Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Thank you, Mr. Rivera. That was great. Thank you. Now let's have, let me check, still got time, yes. Let's have Carlos Salvador, you are team. David Rosales, you are Jessica. Action. Okay. We hear you. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. But we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from the gym. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Very good, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Good pronunciation. Let's go with the last pair, la última pareja, all right? Let me have Evelyn Flores and Jensi Valle. Jensi, you are team. Evelyn, you are Jessica. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea, originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So your first language, Korean. Yes, it is. Very good, excellent, thank you. For tomorrow, para mañana, esta conversation, escuchemosla once, twice, and three times if we can. Eh, veamos cómo se pronuncia la palabra soul, please, all right? The country or the city. All right, everyone, that's pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow night. Bye. Have a great day, a great night. All right, take care. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Yeah. Bye. 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 Good evening. Goodbye.